Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to set up studio lights. So if you're wondering what studio lights are used for, you could take pictures with them or you can make uh, like a video or something. Like a YouTube video pretty much. So I'm just going to show you how to set them up. So first, we got these. These are the umbrellas. These are the light bulbs. Okay, and then we have some lights that we can use for lighting up our room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are the ones that we use in the room. Like these are First, set up the tripods. Alright, so this is a, supposed to be a really small one. So these, th this is what you would do if you have like any exposed or small light on the side of you so you would put it next to where you can't see it in the video so that's what you would do with this really small now that you have all the tripods up and standing i'm going to show you how to connect these connector pieces together so what we do have is right here is a little screw so first you would put it on here like this and then you would screw it on until it's tight enough where it'll stay. Then you would take this one, loosen it, move it a little facing up like that, depending on where you want your lighting. Now what you want to do is, we want to do that to all. Now that you have everything on, what you need to do is put this aside where it's not going to get in your way. And you need to take this umbrella piece. What you need to do is first, you need to open it up. Okay. So now, you need to, this should be this little notch piece right here. Put it back a little. Put it in. Well, you have to loosen it first. There's a little thing where you loosen it up here and you put it in this little hole that's here. That should be here. Until you want it the right way. So say you want it at this angle, you would tighten it. And then you would hold this here first, and then tighten that. But now that you have it on, it should look like this. And there's a switch right here, you turn it on and off. Now what you need to do is get a light bulb. And you got like this, those big ones, big strong ones. You need to plug it in. until it clicks. Then you need to take the port where you put into the wall. You need to plug it in, make sure everything's on. You need to turn it on. So that's what would light up your videos. So you flat off to here and put the light towards you. So let's say I was making a video this way, or this way, and I was uh, doing something over here, the light will, would reflect at me. So then, if you have this small one, you could put that in sort of, I'll show you. Of something great, my lungs will fill and then deflate. They fill with fire, exhale desire. I know it's dire. And the good thing is, the set comes with three two big umbrella pieces and one small one. Because somebody stole my car radio, and now I just sit in silence. 
sometimes quiet. Okay, so this one is a lot brighter. So this one would be more off a little farther to the side. Like over here. And then this one, it would bring a little closer. So if I was making the video, the camera would be right here. And I would be doing something over here. So, the only bad part about these is these light bulbs you cannot have on um, too much. Because these are so strong that the light bulb actually starts to heat up. So if I can leave, it's a little warm. So you can't have it on for too long. And if you're wondering why it's in this, so it doesn't break. So that's pretty much everything. I'll give you one last look of everything. This is the company that I got it from. It's probably backwards to you. But you should really get them. There's a whole carrying case that carries everything. It's probably only eight pounds all together. That's how it's perfect for carrying and bringing it to places if you don't want much mess. So this is pretty much how the setup would be. There would be one right here and one right here. And then I would have the small one out to the side and the camera would be there again. So this is how it would look. Let's say Video. So like I was saying, this is how it would be if I was going to do a video, I would, it would look a lot brighter instead of it being dark and shady. This is how it would mostly look if it was darker. And got this one. This is the regular light. And this, the, this doesn't look too good in the video. So if I was to have it every light on, it's much brighter and looks a lot better. But you don't want too much light, so you, cause then you would, your skin would look overexposed and you would look too bright, and just you wouldn't be able to see anything. So this is how it would be, and these lights are really good because they're maybe around eighty to a hundred dollars, and it comes with the carrying case, with the stands, with everything included that you saw. Everything is like so good that it's really uh, light. I'll show you after I put it back together in the box how light it is and how easy to carry. Okay guys, so this is it. It's all packed up in the bag. It's actually pretty light. You can go check them out on Amazon. I'll see, I'll try to put the link in the description, but these are really good. You gotta check these out and get them.